वेलकम बैक टू लर्न ब्लैंकेट ऑर्डर्स इन बिजनेस सेंट्रल इमेजिन यू रन अ बिजनेस दैट सप्लाइज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉम्पोनेंट ओके सो यू आर गोइंग टू रन अ बिजनेस विच सप्लाइज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉम्पोनेंट ओके यू आर हियर एंड वन ऑफ यूर कस्टमर इज अ मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ अ कंज्यूमर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स सच एज स्मार्टफोन्स एंड टैबलेट्स ओके customer is a consumer electronics so this manufacturer requires a steady supply of specific components of their product line throughout the year for example he may require a specific chip or he may require a specific electronic component throughout a year one year okay so you have to send it often to him okay the manufacturer forecasts that they will need approximately 1 lakh unit of particular component over next 12 months however they cannot accept all these units at once right for example if this customer needs uh, just think about like this customer needs 1 lakh uh, microprocessor or something okay which you usually prepare okay so he cannot always okay he cannot get this 1 lakh microprocessor at once right why because the first one is he cannot store it the second one is um that uh, the production schedule based on the production schedule he he may ask you like often not at stretch so instead what they will prefer is what they will receive these components in a monthly shipment okay 1 lakh in a monthly shipment of about 8300 or 9000 every month okay so in this situation this blanket order will be suitable you cannot make a sales order you will be making a blanket order okay so blanket order is useful first of all first understand where this blanket order is useful blanket orders are useful for the first one is long term agreement okay if you are going with a long term agreement okay here in our case the manufacturer has committed to a year long purchasing agreement which is a perfect scenario for the blanket order the second one is recurring deliveries so every month you have to deliver right this is what recurring deliveries the need for monthly deliveries over a year makes a blanket order more efficient than creating 12 separate sales order you don't need to create a separate sales order the third one is what forecasting and planning okay as a supplier you can use this blanket order to forecast demand and plan your production or procurement accordingly the fourth one is special pricing because since he is a long term customer he is going to be a long term customer you can give the large volume and a long term commitment you might negotiate special pricing or terms that are exclusive to this blanket order and finally flexibility in fulfillment okay like since you are not creating a sales order like every week or every month you are not creating it so it has some flexibility the blanket order allows you to manage the delivery schedule flexibility flexibly accommodating changes in the manufacturer production needs okay so what you will be doing you would set up a blanket order in your business central system for 1 lakh units of the component with a delivery schedule of 8 8300 units per month each month a portion of the blanket order would be converted into a sales order for a monthly shipment This approach streamlines the ordering process, ensures price consistency, and helps both parties in planning and resourcing the resource allocation. Okay, that is why we need a blanket order. So now let us see how to create a blanket order. Okay, so it's very easy. Uh, before we proceed to creating the blanket order like i would like to tell you that um this is my channel okay this is gom stack talks channel if you haven't subscribed yet please go and subscribe now um and uh, if you want to join as a community member please join here where you'll be getting uh, exclusive access to the videos pay uh, mind maps pdfs ppts and everything and here you have 
lot and lot of playlist for the subscribers as well and a separate playlist for the members okay where i'll be adding the videos every week even here for, uh, for the functional consultant this is for interview question this is for mini project ideas and this is for the business center technical thing is let us uh, let us come back to the topic like creating a blanket order it's very simple you can just go to this search icon okay and click here and type blanket order so once if you type blanket sales order it will show you like uh, it's a blanket uh, blanket sales order you just click on the blanket sales order it will open a blanket sales order where you can simply go and select new to create a blanket sales order okay already we have only one blanket sales order now we can create a, another one okay and you can make it okay so here you can just again select the customer name okay who is the customer and uh, you can just make it like a document date all the other relevant details whatever you want due date okay like um one year right uh so you can make it like one year okay and um, order date so today is the order date if you want to make it as today okay and everything so salesperson any other thing if you want the next one is what the item and you can see that the number is not mandatory here though we just added uh add, add a number here okay ethan desk uh okay ethan desk uh location code quantity and here you can see what is it you can enter the total quantity here like for example one lakh okay something pieces line gst um everything okay goods quantity shipped invoiced so how much quantity is already shipped uh, how much quantity to be invoiced everything mm, shipping date okay so everything you can enter here quantity to ship so quantity shipped quantity to ship you can just uh, leave leave it empty uh, quantity shipped you can just make it as um, okay so here you can just add whatever the uh, values you want okay when you are ready to create orders choose make order once you done okay so anything anything else to add you can just make it and just click make order okay once if you click make order it will ask you do you want to create an order from the blanket order just click s yes. okay so this is okay okay so process just make it as make order and click s okay so your order has been created and you can go and see the order okay so this is here your order has been created and if you wanted to see the uh, orders okay so you can see here so this is the order which we have created okay so this is a sales line order which is a uh, blanket sales order you can also check here uh, check that in the unposted lines or uh, sales lines okay so uh, this is the basic steps to create a blanket order so what is the difference between the sales order and the blanket order this is what the another question which everyone will be uh, uh, will be having so as i told you know like a uh, sales order is if you are going it for a short term agreements within uh, uh, one one month or something then you should go with them sales order if you are not going with a multiple shipment only one time shipment um and uh, if you don't want to forecast the availability and everything so you can just go ahead with what uh, uh the sales uh, sales order as well as well and if you want to make it as a long term agreement then definitely you have to go with a blanket orders other than this you can just make a print release pro, pro, post pro, uh, do automations and everything um so this is what about all about the blanket orders if you have any queries please leave that in the comment i'll be there to help you and uh, thank you for watching take care bye bye